Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Mind Stiller. Today, we're going to open ourselves up to the universe, to the one, the one consciousness that we are all a part of, and feel safe and feel that we are being taken care of and protected. Because that's a very important thing for most people to feel protected, to feel safe. Because there's many things that are always challenging us, not just our environment or possible war or violence, but also interpersonal relationships. They're very painful. And a lot of people go around being rude, hurting one another without realizing that we all have this so-called sensitivity, but it's really our emotional state that is one and the same with our spiritual well-being. So if we're thrown off of our spiritual safety valve, then we feel not very good. We're not very in tune with the oneness of the love that permeates this universe, which I call consciousness. The love, which is energy, as opposed to fear. We don't want to be in a state of fear. And fear encompasses sadness and worry and hurt. So let's all spend this time, this short time that we have, which you can use as a practice session to bring it into your normal everyday life just by remembering, remembering that you get to choose the state of your mind and the mind, not the brain, the metaphysical organ called the mind is the builder, the architect, the designer, the creator of your life. Don't let anyone kid you about that. You can say no to all the violence and craziness and toxicity and hardship. You can say no to it and focus on the unbelievably expansive and infinite possibilities within the creative power of every individual if you tune your mind into love and not fear. Using the breath is the best way to make this transition from an agitated state into one of calm. So find a comfortable position and keep your back as straight as you can, not to slump and not to lie down unless you are very tired <laughs> because you will fall asleep if you're not accustomed to totally relaxing your mind in an upright position. So following your breath means that all your attention, as if your eyes were wide open on the breath, as if it were a wave of energy that you could see as it comes in, it fills your lungs and it fills every single cell of your being with energy. And as it leaves, you're sharing with the world the energy that has circulated throughout your being. Following the energy of breath and not engaging in any other thought right now. Just watching the breath coming in and watching it leave. Like a rhythmic motion that you feel is within your power to tap into instead of thinking. 
We don't want to think right now. We're just being, being the breath. Watching the breath come in and watching it leave. Inviting it deeper and deeper into our lungs. Feeling your belly expand, which releases the diaphragm. So even more breath can come into your lungs. And as you expand and push out the air, your belly pushes in. That's the diaphragm. So you push out the air. This is like a dance. This is like a full engagement of your consciousness to do this. And it's worthwhile. It's good training to focus on your breath. Because it takes you away from frivolous, nonsensical, and ridiculous thinking that gets you nowhere by worrying or obsessively going over something that bothers you. Instead, focus on the breath, which calms the busy mind, which gives you comfort and love, which soothes any troubles that may be harboring, hidden, keeping you agitated. Let's just get rid of those. Let's erase them. It's best to just accept things the way they are when you want to experience the consciousness that permeates the universe which I call love. Other people call God or energetic consciousness or unity consciousness or oneness or cosmic consciousness, all sorts of things that people call it. The Higgs boson, the hidden God particle, the energy, the microscopic energetic oneness that we all have, that scientists now have proven. This is not fairy tales. This is not a story that I'm telling you. This is the truth. This is my truth. And scientists have caught up with we spiritual seekers and is proving that there is a consistency of an unknown particle that had hence been unknown, but when it was discovered, they called it the Higgs boson particle. And its nickname is the God Particle. For people who are tongue-in-cheek saying, okay, maybe that's God. That oneness thing. That everything in existence that has been tested contains. It's consciousness. It's the awareness that we are all interconnected. And as we breathe, This interconnectedness is a magical happening because the breath is the bridge between not understanding that to experiencing it. The breath. How can I say this? Because, let's face it, if you're not breathing, you are not in existence. You are dead. So the breath as simple as it may seem, is the connection between not understanding anything and just letting go of trying to understand and just existing and being and merging with consciousness through the breath, through watching the breath and not speaking to any thought that might come like a cloud or a leaf floating through the blue sky of your mind. Just don't engage with it. Just see it. Ah, there's that trouble I have. Watch it disappear. It dissolves. Because when you don't engage with it, energetically, intellectually, or whatever, emotionally, it dissolves. 
and leaves you with pure consciousness. However long you can sustain watching your breath, you will benefit from it. It doesn't have to be a long time. It could just be one round of in-breath and out-breath. That's simple. To change your way of being. If you feel you just can't get something out of your mind, it's bugging you, somebody really did you wrong, you're mad about the world, just watch the breath and watch the breath one round and you will see how easy it is to let go of these mental wrestling matches that you cannot solve. There is no point to trying to solve them. It's best just to watch them dissolve if you're interested in being a happy person. <laughs> That's the key. So if you choose to be a happy person, join me in watching your breath coming in and watch it as it leaves and joins with all the energy around you. And stilling your mind feels good. It feels like taking a bath or being soothed by a beautiful river of comfort and protection and safety within our own being. This is the power of our own consciousness within each of us. And as much or as little as you wish to imbibe in that comfort, you can follow your breath anytime, anywhere. So be well, my friends. Until the next time when I share with you how I love to be in the state of love. Om Namah Shabaya.